Well, hello guys. Welcome to episode 15 of Let's Talk. And it's a nice day out to be talking about tech news and other ideas. So let's get right into it. But actually, before I jump into the news proper, I want to talk about headphones real quick because I think there's a potential trend coming soon. I see our wireless headphones as they are being merged with gaming headsets. Let that sink in for a second because can you imagine Sennheiser or Sony or a Soundcore top of the line headphone combined with something like the fantastic Corsair HS80 or Rokat Synpro Air? You think I'm making this up, but it's already happening my friends. I'm seeing this more and more. Manufacturers are adding low latency modes for movies and games and they already have all matter of Aptux and LDAC audio support. So I think the next logical step or codec trend will be Dolby 5.1 or Atmos. And then if you add detachable boom mics and higher quality wired audio capabilities, you see where I'm going with this, right? It'll happen. I really think it'll happen. Oh, oh actually, just don't quote me on anything I just said. Anyway, remember Palm? They tried reviving themselves as recently as 2018 with this little number, the Palm Palm. Anybody remember this? It was on Verizon? No? I don't blame you. It was a great concept, but totally forgettable at the same time. But now Palm wants a place in your ears with these, the $99 Buds Pro. And this like goes right up against the Nothing Year One, the Google Buds A series, or a million other $99 Buds you find on Amazon. But specs wise, as active noise cancellation, four and a half hours, you know, battery life, 10 millimeter driver, six mics, multi-point, all pretty generically respectable. But then the design, well, it looks nice, but how can I put this? It was pointed out by The Verge to be a near copy, plagiarized copy of these things, these $39 earbuds on Amazon. Yeah, that's not cool, Palm. I, that's not cool. And as much as I like Palm, I don't think they'll be selling a lot of these come Christmas time. Hoo-yah! It's only been like, what, three weeks since the last batch of new Wise products came out? And oh look, I just checked my email and guess what happened? Wise just released more toys just in time for the holidays. And the ones that got my attention the most this time are the Y switch and the Y slam socket. And at first glance, if you look at this, the Y switch may look like your regular light switch or smart light switch. But get this, it doubles as some kind of quasi smart hub for your Wise products. Now, single tap, you can set this up in the app. Single tap to turn on, 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 off the lights. Double tap to say run your Wise uh, RoboVac. Triple tap to turn off all the lights. Hold to turn your home into vacation mode. The sky's the limit, it's awesome. It would have been cool if they had added some kind of swipe gestures like to dim the lights or something. Now, on the other hand, the Wise socket, what it does is in conjunction with the Wise Cam 3 is turn your light bulb into a motion activated security light. So five can be linked together and can also directly power the Wise Cam by wiring directly from the socket to the camera. I personally don't understand why you want cables exposed like that though. I mean, especially if you install the socket cam combo on a lower floor, I can just come by your house and just yank the cable off and none of the devices will work, right? Or actually, I could just climb up to your cable box away from your house, disconnect the internet, and boom, your Wise products will all be as crippled as a two-legged dog. So actually, Wise, if you're watching, we need an offline protocol like Pronto. At some point in early 2022, Motorola will be dropping the G200 5G phone, and this will be their first Snapdragon 888 flagship. It has impressive specs, besides the 888 of course, 144Hz display, 8GB of RAM, triple rear cam with a 108MP primary snapper. But that being said, global supply chain delays aside, if our friends at Motorola can price the G200 much more aggressively than they did with the Edge, which is currently about 600, I think we'll have a contender for the best mid-range flagship 5G phone. And I know you noticed that I said mid-range instead of flagship because by the time we get this in the US, the Snapdragon 898 will be out and the G200 will be relegated to budget flagship duty. You know, I really want to like the brand new Sony Xperia Pro 1 so bad guys, so bad. Or is it pronounced Pro I or Pro Romanized 1? I, I don't know which. But anyways, it's basically an $1,800, oh my goodness, every time I say it, my eyes water, an $1,800 pro vlogging camera using a gorgeous 120 inch screen with a phone attached to it. That's really what it is. Their biggest sell here though is the main shooter, which is a 20 megapixel one inch unit. And Sony says it's good enough for professional use, but if I remember correctly, the world average is six inches. So I think their research team needs to get back to work on this. I mean, 
I used to have a one incher by the way, and I can tell you from personal experience, whenever I used it, my clients were never satisfied. Jeez, that was bad. <laughs> the release of the new TCL 25G Pro has inexplicably drawn my attention instead to its cheaper siblings, the TCL 20S and SE. And unlike the 5G Pro that honestly performs decently, has a strong battery, but has a screen not worthy of a flagship, a lousy camera system, and is priced too high for what it is, the 20S and SE are dirt cheap, yet also perform decently with strong batteries, lousy cameras, and well-executed screens that fit their price bracket. So the moral of this story, if you don't need 5G, go with either the 20S or SE. And if you do need 5G, buy the Samsung A52 5G instead. I just have a couple of updates here. And the first one is for the Liberty 3 Pro, which is still one of my favorite earbuds of all time. And I mentioned in my review that they stay on better in the years than the 2 Pro. And that's still true. Unless you're doing something that causes you to breathe a lot with your mouth, like vigorous exercises or activities, because I found that my jaw motions will slowly push one or both of the earbuds out, not to the point of falling out, mind you, but out enough that they break the passive seal, so it requires adjustments, obviously. And there was also this problem with the active noise cancellation hearing test in the app not sticking after you exit the app. It doesn't save it. And that seems to have been fixed in the second to latest update. But that being said, the uh, weak typo with two E's in the uh, control dial for active noise cancellation strength is still there though. Two things that I want to talk about the Samsung Watch 4. And you know I made a video about it recently, a review, and in it, I blundered actually by declaring that it doesn't have a speaker or a mic. And so I made a correction, an addendum in the description box to try to make things right again. But it was too late, my friends. The damage was already done. Like all 18 of my subscribers unsubscribed. They started calling me a hack. Yeah, I officially suck at my job. The other thing about the Watch 4 is Samsung just allowed users to download the Samsung internet web browser onto their watches. So now you can finally surf the web on its tiny little circular screen. I guess it's useful in a pinch for looking things up and such. I have here in my hands the brand new Soundcore frames, and these are like the same concept as the Bose frames, but in my opinion, way better executed. I'm testing these as we speak right now, so if you have anything you want me to look at, leave a comment down below and I'll check it out. And yeah, just like that, I'm actually kind of hungry now. I'm going to go get some food. So thanks guys for watching and also for your support as always. Remember to share this channel with your friends and family. And if you haven't already, smack the subscribe button down below like it's been naughty guys and turn on the bell notification icon to get notified when I drop new videos. So until the next time, please do something loving and kind for somebody in this world. It needs help more than ever and it starts with you. God bless and peace out. Adios.